Hey guys, welcome to Draw My Story. And here's the shout out to those amazing fans of Draw My Story who've sent in their fan arts. They're beautiful. Thank you guys for sending. If you also want your arts to be featured in my video, then please follow the instructions of how to send in your fan art. It's in the video description below. Love you guys. And today, we're drawing the story of another giant monster. He's huge, strong, and mysterious. Want to guess the name? He's called the Giant Puppeteer. The Giant Puppeteer is a humanoid monster. He has hands and legs like in a human body. There are thin, long fingers and sharp nails coming out of each finger. However, the whole body looks skinny and thin. He's really tall as well. The body looks almost skeletal. We can see the ribcage through his skin. The skin covering his whole body is pale and light blue in color. There's no hair on his body. Now comes the weirdest part, his head. The head looks like a bird's head with a strong beak. No other facial features are detectable because of his height. He's about 100 feet or 30 meters tall. So the giant puppeteer looks like a huge and tall human with a bird head. Yes, you heard it right. He has a very weird look. When we see the giant puppeteer, there's another important feature we'll notice. His left hand is always lifted up horizontally. It's seen almost in all the pictures available. It has a string attached to it. And at the end of the string, there's a human attached. Yes, you heard it right. A human is taken in the string by the giant puppeteer all the time. This human will be controlled like a puppet by the giant monster. And that's why he's called the giant puppeteer. Humans are his puppets. Now coming to the most important question, why is he having human puppets in his hands? What does he want? How much dangerous is this monster? Want to know? Then keep watching the video. Giant Puppeteer comes under the class Giants. That means he's reached the Earth due to some summoning activity done by moon worshippers. Moon worshippers do these activities annually, and many giants reach Earth at those times. The worshippers are not aware of this danger. The interesting fact is that the giants who reach Earth are being sent with a purpose. Such giants are the connection between the Earth and the other side. They are destined to take humans back to where they belong. Giant Puppeteer also functions based on this concept. That makes it clear that even he must have reached due to a summoning activity. And now he has a job to be done here. The theory says that the Giant Puppeteer has to collect and send a certain number of humans for the completion of his work. Once it's done, he can go back. He takes humans using his string and takes them away for salvation. The humans who are destined to be taken will be drawn towards the giant automatically. However, a coin always has two sides, so there's another side to this story. The giant puppeteer is said to be very dangerous in general they can cause mass destruction to human civilization. If the giant feels like a whole city or town is not deserving to be taken up to the heaven, then he'll destroy the whole place. They show no mercy. The giant puppeteer is capable enough to demolish buildings, uproot trees, and damage human lives. It's also said that the humans who are not worthy will be actually turned 
into puppets. These puppets are used by the giant for luring other humans towards him. The puppet that we see on his left hand are such humans who are used for luring. The giant has hypnotizing powers, which he can use to save humans or to kill a human. Later, those puppets will be killed along with the lured humans. Those humans who has to reach the other side does not need such luring. They'll be coming towards the giant by themselves, and the giant will take care of them. They won't be used as puppets or tortured. They'll get salvation. There's a huge confusion about how are those unworthy humans killed by the giant. Some strongly believes that the giant eats most of them. The giant puppeteer is surely a heavenly creature with supernatural powers. However, he's a savage monster as well. He can eat humans. After all, he looks like a biological creature. There's nothing mystical about his appearance. So the humans who are deemed unworthy are eaten by him. Scared already? Comment below from a scale of 1 to 10. Well, one being the most scariest. Now, coming back to the story again, many argue that the theory of salvation itself is wrong. According to a different group of researchers, the giant puppeteer is simply a giant monster. He captures humans using his appendage and eats them, all of them. This giant is seen only at night times and anyone who's outside at odd night times will be a victim to the giant. There's no solid evidence on humans being hypnotized by the giant. These are all stories told by humans who have witnessed the attack of the giant. Most of them were scared to hell to see the giant. And their senses were mostly hijacked by fear. So it's illogical to use their stories as evidence to make a whole theory about the giant puppeteer. This is the opinion of those researchers who's against the theory. But who knows what's the actual truth behind these theories which are doing rounds. There's one more thing which will always be a fact, that whether the giant is a mystical creature or not, he's definitely dangerous to humans. We don't need more proof for that. He causes huge loss and destruction to human life and properties. Thousands of humans are already wiped out, and many more are yet to go. But Giant Puppeteer is still not satisfied. It wants more and more until everyone on this earth is finished. And that's not good for humankind so we have to figure out a way to stop him as soon as possible. Officials are working on this. Let's hope for the best. And that was today's story, guys, about the infamous and deadliest monster, Giant Puppeteer. Comment and let me know how'd you like it. And please subscribe to my channel, guys, if you want to see more Draw My Story horror videos like this one. Till then, bye.